Oh, why, hello there. I didn't notice you staring at me reading my newspaper upside down. Anyway, welcome to Miami, Florida, basically the real life version of Disneyland. <laughs> place where literally anything can happen, like this guy right here being able to sell chocolate balls full of meth on the side of the- <laughs> Look at all the flies, my goodness. Get in the water, you filthy fool. Oh. I will in a minute, just a second. I'm just sanitizing the wharf. Anyway, as I was saying, welcome to Miami, Florida, the real-life version of Disneyland, where grotty fellows like that chap over there can set up a little stall over here selling chocolate balls covered in meth. Mm-mm-mm. My favorite. You can tell by my face. Look at those cheekbones. You don't get those without meth. Matter of fact, my favorite meth is the one times table. How about you? Not only can you sell meth in Miami, Florida, but you can sell lots of banana. Or if you're a clever entrepreneur like me, then maybe you'll have something for everybody. You've got something for the vegans, you've got something for the pescatarians, and you've also got something for the cannibals. I mean, meat eaters. It's, um, beef. <laughs> now this guy's not looking so bad anymore, is he? Jeez, how did I fit all of that in my pockets? That's the real question that needs to be answered. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. Anyway, moving on. Florida really is a cool kind of place because anything goes, anything can come true. It's a place where you can just walk up to the flag bearer thingamajig, boff them in the face, and then crack out your mobile phone, throw it down onto the racetracks, and then before you know it, you're in the middle of the race. You'll never take me alive, bitches. Actually, can I run into traffic? Oh, <laughs> oh no, I'm a ghost. Oh, this is so depressing. Oh, Oh no, what am I going to do with my... I guess I'll just keep on running. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, I fell through the earth. Oh no. Miami. More like Miami. Anyway, I had an idea for this video. Something that I've actually never done before. Oh my goodness, is that... Is that guy vaping? <laughs> That's a hard fish. Oh my... Oh my goodness. You okay? <laughs> he doesn't look okay. You'll ever hit... Anyway, as I was saying, I've got an idea, something that I've never done before, believe it or not, and that is to take down every single person in Miami with a fish. He's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, great idea. As a matter of fact, I'm even planning on taking down my two targets with nothing but a fish. The only problem I foresee, however, is boffing everyone in the face with a slippery sea creature. It's going to be difficult, especially with so much security around. Oh, sorry, just a safety precaution. I don't plan on using it. Actually, come to think of it, hold on, let me just... Oh, okay. The mods are out of control. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh god no. What have I done? How is this? <laughs> this is probably the funniest mod ever. <laughs> I can't. But you know, just quickly for the sake of science. <laughs> oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's too good. It's too good. <laughs> the mods are broken. I mean, this is what you're all here for, though, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so dumb. I love it. It's fine, though, because I am a pacifist, and all I have in my pockets today is uh, 100 fish and 100 banana, which means that as I walk in here and accept a deep, rough, and aggressive frisking from old mate over here, nothing will be detected. Not even the 100 bananas in my bum or the 100 fish that I keep. <laughs> In the legs of my pants. Okay, yep, there's definitely a lot of people here. Um, and, uh, whacking them all with a fish. This is, hmm. All right, well, you know what? Let's give it a try. Let's just, let's just see if this is even, you know, a realistic challenge. Is this something that I can see happening? Ever? <laughs> That's what for. I only got like 700 to go. Nobody's shot me yet. Okay, well, that's not going to work. But maybe the ultimate black suit will. How you going, dingus? I'm here to cause trouble. Observe. Try and shoot me, bro. Come on, shoot me. Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh, it's bouncing off me. It's ricocheting. Hold on. What is this madness? <laughs> what is this sorcery? Oh, bullets. Not my only weakness anymore, bitch ass. All right. Well, things are looking interesting now. We've got the whole FBI. <laughs> What? All right, so as crazy as this plan may sound, I think that it's actually something that I can pull... Ugh. I think that it's actually something that I can pull off. Also, I don't know what this suit is or where the hell I got it from, but it is damn fine, if I do say so myself. Now, if we want to eliminate our two targets, Sierra and Mr. Melty Face... <laughs> 
<laughs> Mr. Melty Face, by means of fish accident. We're going to need to get them on their own, and the best way to get Sierra on her own is with the Pretty in Pink mission story. In order to do that, I'll head down into the car park, and I'll be friend. Did I just say car park? <laughs> car park, mate. Get it up ya. I'll head down into the car park and befriend this giant flamingo. No, it is a real flamingo. He is just wearing a human's mask around his neck to protect himself from Brovid 19. Now, apparently, he's looking for a key. This is the key right here in this puddle of blood. That puddle of blood comes from this man who was wearing the flamingo outfit before that guy whacked him on the face and stole his clothes. And people think I'm crazy. Anyway, I'll be taking that key. Sorry about the blood on the floor. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Yo, did you find some keys over there? I did actually, yeah. Don't look that way though, because they, um, they both slipped over. There are the keys, and, um... He's fine. Everything's fine. So the incriminating documents that I'm looking for, I believe, are inside of this van. Let me open it up and take a look. Mm-mm-mm. Incriminating evidence. Just what I was looking for. All right, bulletproof suit. You stay nice and toasty right there, okay? I'll be back for you soon. Hello, gentlemen. I am the Flamingo. I'd like to come through so that I can try and extort Sierra Knox. Is that okay with you both? Thank you very much, you gentlemen and scholars. And I am a giant bird. Hey, big boy. I'm here to see Sierra. Go and tell her that, uh, a big floppy bird flaps <laughs> is here for the meeting. She'll know what it's about. So, Mr. Hmm. I never did catch your name. The name is Giant F Flappy Bird Flaps. Oh my goodness, Sierra. What is with this shovel and bleach and tarpaulin on the floor? What, what did you have in mind? Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Were you planning on killing me? So here's the deal. You hand over the documents and leave, and that's the end of it. And you will do that now. Well, what? Oh. Hey, pick that shit up. <laughs> okay, sorry. So here are the two possible outcomes of this meeting. Okay, go on, One, tell me what they are. you leave this place and this country for good. Yep. And that will be the end of it. Mm -hmm. Two, you don't choose option one. Oh. Someone dies. Oh no. Right here, right now. Which do you prefer? What's option three? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that's Sierra taken care of. Next up, Robert Knox, a.k.a. Mr. Melty Face. But what I'm going to do first is run back and get my bulletproof suit. And when you look like a million bucks, you feel like a million bucks. Wouldn't you say that's true, chappy, crappy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why would you knock anyone out like that? Well, what do you mean? It's with a fish. Why wouldn't I? Alrighty, time to get up close and personal with Mr. Robert Knox. Oh, hmm, okay. I'm pretty sure I can find another way up there. We'll just take down the race marshal. Then we'll just walk around and slap everyone in the face with a fish, because I don't think anyone's going to notice inside. I'm so stealthy. Look. Anyway, what I need to do is get to the top floor and sneak my way into Robert's office. Now, let's have a look here. This is, um, I am there and I'm on level two. I need to be on level three. Hey! You. What? Sorry, I'm lost. I'm looking for the toilet. Anyone have a line of sight? Nope. All right, so I have a feeling that if I can get out that window, I may be able to climb my way to where I need to get to. Or maybe I could go through Office 1B. Hmm, a balcony. This might be what I'm looking for. I think this is what I'm looking for. Oh, baby. All right, here we go. Make a little bit of a distraction. What was that? That's gonna hurt. So we'll sneak past this guy onto the desk. All right, there we go. Electronic dingle dongle. Then we'll run through here, past that guy, through his office without him even noticing because he's an idiot, into the bathroom, and then we wait for the opportunity to jump through. Hmm. Hmm. This is going to be a toughie, but I'm confident that I can move fast enough to... Hey, you. Oh, crap. I need you to follow me. Oh, sure. Yep. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Goodness, you... <laughs> You're very gracious. Thank you for not shooting me on sight. Sucker. And now that they've kind of sort of forgotten about me, I guess it's time to unlock the satellite controls and sabotage the illegal cable TV sa satellite dish that Mr. Melty Face has been stealing. Speak of the devil. Why the f*** does everyone fall sideways around here? I was hoping for a little more launchy, launchy action. Yep, that's it. And now that that's done, all that's left to do is whack everyone in Miami in the face with the fish. This is going to be a very time-consuming exercise. I can feel it now, and I regret this challenge completely. I hate everything. Hey, bro, anything uh, interesting on the, on the security monitors? Bit of a slow day, huh? Yeah. Hey, you taking a break? 
get back to work. Why, hello there, Mr. Fancy Pants. Fear not, scientist. I am a pacifist. I wish you no harm. Well, no, no permanent oh. lasting damage. Or at least not death. Probably a bit of harm. Possibly a little bit of permanent lasting damage. It's a pretty hard fish. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> That'll hurt in the morning. Now to take care of the meeting room. Hello, everybody. Meeting adjourned. You can all get back to work once you regain your consciousness. No telephones during work hours. All right, so I don't know how this is going to work. Obviously, the security guard gets it first. Nobody gives a damn, and then I just whack everyone in the face because I can. They're all pretty patient, though, just waiting for their turn. <laughs> The good NPCs, these ones. Thanks, guys, for waiting. All right, so as far as I know, everyone inside of Kronstadt's been taken care of with the old fishy. Nobody's dead, though, which is great. Everybody's going to be fine in the morning. Except maybe the guy from the start of the video. He might not be fine, but that's fine. Now it's time to head into the winner's podium place and inflict some salty sea damage on these salty sea dogs. Hey, guys, sorry. It's all part of the fish everyone <laughs> fish everyone challenge hey everybody thank god you're here there's a maniac running around with an abundance of fish in a bulletproof suit so uh you come here often you know what day it is no all right well it's a fish everyone challenge nothing personal hey, now as far as i know everyone in this part of miami has been pacified and all that's left for me to do is head into the actual racing show thingamabob and deal with everyone in there. Obviously pigeons have been spared from this challenge because they are the superior life form, but now it's time. Time to get swifty. Hello. Oh, no. I honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. I've decided that this is a challenge that needs to be done and, <laughs> and I'm the only person stupid enough to do it. There's too many people here. <laughs> this is this is confusing. Can you all just kind of like run off the map so I don't need to deal with this? All right, so now we head into the Miami International Street Circuit. <laughs> I wonder what waits for us in here. Hello. Are you crazy? All right, so now we're going to head up to the party where I have a feel. <laughs> I was going to say I have a feeling nobody's there, but hey, the party must go on. What's up, party people? And now to administer a quick walloping to everyone hanging around the medical center. Sorry, Doc. And the race show thingy seems to have cleared out somewhat. Although, on the other side of this barrier, <laughs> outside of the VIP area, they certainly seem a lot happier than the VIPs, which proves that the grass is always greener. Now it's time to go and ruin their day too. What's going on, everyone? Have you been having your fish oil? <laughs> it's very important for joint health and heart health and... You know, all of that stuff, so get it up, ya. Yeah. All right, well, I really think we might be nearly done. I mean, everywhere I go, people are sleeping. <laughs> I don't know why they're all so sleepy. And they've all fallen asleep in exactly the same position. Strange. <laughs> oh, hey, look at this guy. Are you my soulmate? I hope you're my soulmate. Guy just doesn't give a damn, does he? I like you. Please. Oh, wow, what? <laughs> For me? <laughs> you shouldn't have. Thank you, lady. This will go splendidly with my 100 bananas. Seriously, though, where are all of the remaining people that are preventing me from completing my fish everybody challenge? This is very, very frustrating. Or I guess I should say fish straighting. <laughs> where, oh, where are the remaining people? I swear I've slapped everyone with my fish at this point. Unless it's the race car drivers themselves. Well, I guess I could do something about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is a really, really sturdy security car. So I think this... Yeah, I think that was the last guy on the racetrack. I mean, nobody else is zooming around. And I'm still compromised. Huh. Ah, uh, finally. I bet it's these guys. Is it one of you? Yes. <laughs> 146. Well, that's not many. What? That's all? Hey, look at the confetti fluff, pluff, puff, puff. <laughs> well, that was time consuming and slightly catastrophic at least for the people on the racetrack and for all of the people that were at the event but the good news is that none of them are dead well i mean mm, debatable anyway all's well that ends well and this ended great and i mean i know i've said it already but what the hell bye amy